Hey guys, Jared from Wave to Wave, and I'm um, just at Lake Travis here. We're gonna take the Allison out. I might do a little video here on just uh, just a little bit of driving uh, tips. Not that I'm gonna be some expert, but I get a lot of questions about boats that shine walk and boats uh, their handling kind of funny. And the Allison's a good example of a boat you have to sort of learn to drive, and it's not the easiest boat to drive, but once you get the hang of it, it's it's amazingly stable and. And so maybe it's a good boat to show uh, some little things about chine walking and other handling issues. So we'll go drive the boat and maybe I'll see if I can get some video of that and then uh, talk about that a bit. So we're on the water now and yeah, like I said, it's really hot. It's a beautiful day. It's like a light breeze. We'll just go up river um, and try to get away from some of these wakeboard boats and stuff, but beautiful day. We're sweating <laughs> like crazy already, but uh, Anyways, so yeah, before we head out, just yeah, we're just gonna talk a little bit about driving. Just uh, some basics. Uh, again, I'm not an expert. I'm not trying to pretend I'm an expert, but I've been driving boats a long time, so uh, pretty standard issue when it comes to handling, like shine walking and, and other handling characteristics when you get going at a certain speed or higher speeds. Is like your setup is really critical. One of the key things that causes shine walking in certain boats is. If your motor's mounted too low and you're dragging the lower unit, that's going to cause a little bit of a, a pivot effect. So you're going to get a little chine walking. So setting the right engine height um, is going to be really key to that. Balancing the boat out in these smaller boats like this boat, you got to make sure you have the right weight distribution in the boat. That's another kind of key factor of getting it to balance nicely. Um, the biggest one is also like just seat time, like learning your boat, um, knowing how it drives. You know, this boat has hydraulic steering. Um, and it's a little bit, uh, has like the tiniest, it's not quite as good as like any, ri any rigid kind of steering, like a cable, dual cable setup or, or super rigid pulley system with like solid mounts is going to be the best. But practically speaking, a lot of people have hydraulic steering now. It's just much easier. It's so easy to drive the boat, but you lose a little bit of that feel. So seat time comes into play. You just want to get in the boat and just really learn how it drives and how it reacts and... You know, one one factor too is you'll notice that you'll probably be at a certain speed and it'll just start to go on you and then you start fighting the wheel and that's sort of a bad habit. You want to get in the habit of using your trim and driving the boat, using your steering to sort of balance it and make sure you're set. Uh, if you start losing it, then you're probably going to be in a bad spot. But so, anyways, we'll just I'll I'll show you a few scenarios and see how they use the the steering wheel to to affect the boat, but to a minimum. Not oversteering, not over getting into that, you know, jarring the wheel back and forth. That's not a great situation. So, yeah, let's take a look and, and see if this video can work. Oh, 
this actual engine, because it's a little heavier and doesn't have solid mounts, makes it actually a little trickier. Just on that factor, they get the engine high up like that, it wants to dance, and it'll make it worse. But again, this boat, this hull is very, uh, it's designed to go fast, so the actual, it's almost the faster you go, the more stable it gets in a way, so. Yeah, very minimal input. You can see the wheel there. It's just, just kind of keeping that balance. Minimal input. Comes down to your, you set up your steering system and just seat time. You get used to it. I mean, when I first got in the boat, it was a learning curve. I'm not used to this particular boat, so it was a bit of a learning curve where you learn how the boat balances, how it reacts to trim. This boat doesn't need a lot of trim at all. It gets a lot of lift, a lot of rear lift with that lip, so again, it's a matter of each boat getting, is, a, is different, right? So. Under acceleration, it kind of wants to, to get loose, that's normal. Just wanna keep it going. Guys, I tried to do a video today and uh, it was a little rougher than I thought and there were so many wakeboard boats out it's Friday and I thought I could beat the traffic but man there was like every turn and straight away there was a wakeboard boat so that was kind of tricky but um, we'll see what I have for the video hopefully I can make something decent uh, or maybe just head out next time and use a camera have someone we can use the camera too because I'm kind of by myself right now so it's hard to set up the camera in this boat so hopefully I can get a GoPro and I might even do a drone video one of these days, so uh, yeah, we'll see what we got.